ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today, we're putting that power to the test. Welcome everyone to the semi-finals. This is K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Ang K-Check ay para sa mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. For today's semi-finals, we are looking for one last contestant to complete our top four. So this is the home stretch and soon a new K-Check champion will be revealed. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Tatlo sa kanila ay weekly winners at isa sa kanila ay wide guard. Selected from the past contestants whose performance merited a spot in the semi-finals. Firstly, we have Cyril. Cyril is an IT student from Datamex College of St. Adeline, whose hobbies are drawing and eating. Next, we have Versil. Versil is a BS Physics sophomore and plans to take astrophysics as a career. He's also an illustration artist and studies programming as a hobby. Next, we have Drake. Drake is a geography student from UP Diliman. He likes to cook, take photos, and explore random places. He also plays the ukulele. And finally, our wild card for today is Irish. A third-year community nutrition student, her hobbies include watching Filipino movies and surfing the internet. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University, we have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, hawak na ni Jules ang mga tanong na kailangan ninyong sagutin. So, get ready to buzz in, but wait to be called before answering so your answers can be given proper credit if correct. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. So, with the rules in place, let's, let's begin. begin. Question number one. Islamabad is the capital of which Asian country? Greek. Pakistan. Pakistan is correct. K check. Question number two. What team did LeBron James and Kyrie Irving lead to the NBA title in 2016 after trailing 3 1 in the finals? Brazil. Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors is wrong. Cyril. Lakers. Lakers is wrong. Drake. Miami Heat. Miami Heat is wrong. Irish? Okay, the correct answer is Cleveland. Question number three. Described as the last mambabato, which tattoo? Irish. Apo ang art. Okay, let me continue. Which tattoo artist from the province of Kalinga turns 107 years old in 2024? You said Apo Wang Od. That is correct. K-check. Question number four. What is the product of the fractions three-fifths and five-thirds? Brazil. One. One is correct. K-check. Question number five. In the Chinese calendar, 2024, starting on Drake. Year of the Dragon. Let me proceed. Starting on February 10 is the year of what creature? Dragon or Year of the Dragon is correct. K-check. Question number six. What word may mean one of the four divisions of the year or a verb that means Brazil? Quarter. Quarter is wrong. Let me continue with the question. That means to add spices and flavoring to food. Correct answer is season. Question number seven. What is the English term for a field that is kept flooded with water and is used for growing rice? Drake. Paddy. Paddy is correct. K check. Question number eight. Which constellation or zodiac sign has a name that means goat's horn? Versailles. Capricorn. Capricorn is correct. K check. 
Question number nine. Which Filipino mythical creature was said to have long, stretched human limbs in the head of a horse? Drake. Tikbalang. Tikbalang is correct. K-check. Question number 10. What is the name of the school of witchcraft and wizardry per se? Hogwarts. Let me proceed. That is the primary setting for the first six books of the Harry Potter series. You said Hogwarts. That's correct. K-check. Question number 11. In human anatomy, what do you call the straw-colored liquid part of blood, which is the largest rate? Plasma. Let me proceed. The largest single component of blood. You said plasma. That's correct. K-check. Final question for this round, number 12. What is the first comet whose return was predicted and is the only known Brazil? Aries Comet. Let me proceed. That is the only known short period comet that is regularly visible to the naked eye from Earth. You said Halley's Comet? That's correct. K-check. And that's it for round number one. Anyway, after that round, we have Drake in the lead with 50 points, followed closely by Versil with 40, Irish with 10, and Cyril with some catching up to do. So, Cyril, congratulations na nakaabot ka rin dito sa semi-finals. Kamusta naman ang pakiramdam mo? Ikaw ba naghanda para dito? Sakto lang po. Mas kinakaba, mas kinakabahan. Huwag ah, ka na masyadong kabahan. Pero nakilala mo na ba itong mga kapwa contestant mo? O hindi ka nila kinakausap? Hindi ba po. Tulungan ka namin makilala yung iba. Yung sunod naman si Versil. Alam niyo ba na si Versil ay nasa first season din ng K-Check at umabot din siya sa semi-finals. So, ano yung difference ngayon, Versil, from the first one na semi-finals in this season? Uh, may tulog ako ngayon. Last, last time, wala akong tulog. <laughs> Tingin mo ba makukuha mo, masusungkit mo ang corona this year? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's but you have to hand it to Versil, ha? Talagang yung conviction niya na manalo. If ever, sana maging champion ka or maybe next season, Kung meron, makita ka namin Third ulit. Times <laughs> Third times the charm, di ba? Alam ni Pia words back yeah. yan. In any case, maraming salamat, Cyril and Versil. Uh, itutuloy natin ang ating chikahan at usapan later. Pero right now, you know the drill. Kailangan natin maganda para sa round two. So susunod na po tayo dyan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. K-check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check semi-finals. At pagkatapos ng round na yon, Drake is in the lead with 50 points, Versil with 40, Irish with 10, and Cyril with a bit of catching up to do. Drake, ikaw naman, how was your experience during your episode? Ano ang pinakamahirap na tanong para sa'yo, if you remember? Uh, masaya naman po yung experience ko last episode. The, as for the hardest question, yung, yung sa mga art styles po. And, mga art expressions ko na tinanong ni Prof. <laughs> if you think about it, ano ang strongest um, sections that are asked? Siguro po my favorite would be geography since related pa talaga siya <laughs> sa major ko. At patatanong yun lagi. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Jake. Ito naman, si Irish. Si Irish actually lost a tie break. Pero dahil sa sobrang close ng laban nila, we decided to give her today's wild card slot. So anong na-feel mo, Irish, na nabigyan ka ng second shot? Very happy because last time was already fun po for me, kahit natalo. Pero right now, na pa ng chat, so nice po to be back. Well, it's always nice to hear that they have fun, di ba? Because this is supposed to be fun. At the same time, it's also supposed to be educational for everyone. So maraming salamat sa inyong contestants for sharing your stories with us. But now, it's time to get back to the competition. This is round two. So remember to wait to be acknowledged before answering, where each correct answer is worth 20 points. However, you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin! This is round two and this is question number one. Who was assassinated during the Ides of March in 44 BC? Dre. Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar is the correct answer. k -check. Question number two. What do you call the figure of speech that is a deliberate exaggeration made for emphasis, Irish? Hyperbole. Made for emphasis like we're a million miles apart. The correct answer is hyperbole. The answer is correct, K-check. In Greek mythology, 
which son of a river god was so handsome that he fell in love with his own reflection, Versil? Narcissus. Narcissus is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. What game similar to baseball has a name similar to an insect? Versil. Cricket. It has a name similar to an insect that may be noisy after dark and eaten in the Philippines as kamaru. Cricket is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. Which state religion of Japan until 1945? Drake. Shinto. Shinto is the state religion of Japan until 1945, centered on the belief in sacred power called kami. So the answer is correct. K check. Question number six. One of the greatest boxers of the world was originally known as Olympic champion Cassius Clay. Who is this famous heavyweight title holder, Drake? Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number seven. What is the cognitive bias that causes people to overestimate their skills and abilities? Yes, Versil. Dunning-Kruger effect. The cognitive bias that causes people to overestimate their skills and abilities, even when they are low-skilled or incompetent, is the Dunning-Kruger effect. So his answer is correct. Key check. Question number eight. Home to two of the most successful football teams in England, including Everton FC. This city is known as the capital of pop and the home of the Beatles. What is this city in England, Versil? Uh, Birmingham? No, 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 no. Okay. Birmingham is wrong. Drake. Manchester. The answer is also wrong. Alam sana ni Versil, the home of the Beatles is Liverpool. Question number nine, the richest woman in the world in 2023 is Francoise Mayers, who was worth about $100 billion. What is the world's largest cosmetics company, which is the source of Mayers vast wealth? L'Oreal. L'Oreal is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10, St. Petersburg was a former capital of what present day country? Brazil. Russia. Russia is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What Mark Ronson song featured Bruno Mars and which song reigned as the number one Hot 100 hit of the 2010s? Brazil. Uptown Funk. Uptown Funk is the correct answer. K check. At naglead na si Versil with 130 points, Drake with 120. Last question for this round, question number 12. What is the name of the island state of Australia, which is famous? Yes, Drake. Tasmania. Di pa nga tapos yung question, which is famous for a marsupial devil and beautiful scenery. The answer is Tasmania and the answer is correct, K check. And that's it for the second round. So after that very exciting round, let's do a points recap. Drake is leading with 140 points, followed by Brazil with 130 points, Irish with 30 points, and Cyril, may chance ka pa later para humabon. Up next na, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa... K-Check! Welcome back everyone. Points recap tayo. Drake is leading with 140 points. Followed by Brazil with 130 points. Si Irish ay may 30 points. At si Cyril, kayo pang humabol. Dahil in the lead man, si Drake ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa round na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! Nako mga viewers, sana nandito kayo para ma-prumdaman ninyo ang tension in the air as we enter the ultimate pagalingan round. So hindi na tayo mag-aantay pa, 
Okay, ready? In chemistry, which element is represented by the symbol RH? Brazil. Rhodium. The correct answer is rhodium. K check. Oh, Prof. Neil. Ano ang naging tawag sa hukbong bayan laban sa hapon? Brazil. Hook. Mali. Break. Hook ba lahat? Mali. Ay! Ano ang naging tawag sa hukbong bayan laban sa hapon o hook ba lahat? Matapos ang pananakop ng mga hapon at sa panahon na ikatlong republika. A. Hukbong bayan laban sa imperialismong Amerikano. B. Hukbong bayan para sa kasarinlan. C. Hukbong mapagpalaya ng bayan. D. Hukbong pagpapalaya para sa bansa. E. Hukbong magsusulong ng tunay na kalayaan. Okay, only Cyril and Iris can answer. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Hukbong mapagpalaya ng bayan. So, let's continue. Prof. Gigi. Okay, yes ma'am. Nora Nor is a multi-awarded artist in theater, music, television, and also known as Philippine Cinema's superstar. When was Nora Nor conferred as a national Irish. artist? 2022. That's correct. It's 2022. Letter D. Okay, check. Mukhang we have a Noranian in the house. <laughs> okay, Prof. Marla. During which process in the central dogma of molecular biology does the conversion of genetic information from DNA to RNA occur? A. Transcription B. Translation C. Replication Transduction E. Transformation Brazil uh, A. Transcription The correct answer is A. Transcription K. Check Prof. Neil Anong bansa sa Timog Silangang Asia? o Southeast Asia sa kasulukuyan ang may direktang ugkaugnayan sa karajaan o rajanate ni Raja Sulaiman na pinabagsak ng mga Espanyol noong 1571. Rick Brunei. Tamang sagot ay Brunei. K-check. Prof. Gigi. What is the song created in 1929 with lyrics written by Jose Corazon de Jesus, with music by Constancio de Guzman, that became a patriotic song and regained popularity. Drake, Bayan Co. Bayan Co. in 1972 was deemed seditious. Uh, if you perform it publicly, singing the song was banned with violators facing potential arrest and detention. Bayan ko, letter C, K-check. At the halfway mark, Drake leads with 185 points, followed very closely by Versil with 175, Irish with 60, and Cyril with a bit of catching up to do. Prof. Marla. What is the purpose of the maxillary teeth in a frog's mouth? A, to grasp prey. B, to masticate food. C, to defend against predators. D, to filter water. Brazil. A, to grass prey. Frogs swallow their food whole and do not chew. Therefore, the answer is A, to grass prey. K, check. Nagahabulan. Brazil naman ang lead ngayon. Si Brazil naman ang lead. Prof. Neil. Si Tony Blair ay nagsilbing Prime Minister ng anong bansa? Drake, United Kingdom. Tamang sagot ay United Kingdom. K-check! <laughs> Back to Drake! <laughs> Naku! Madam Gigi! Okay. What is the principle of visual design that refers to the repetition of visual elements such as shapes, colors, and lines in a piece of artwork that creates a sense of movement and flow. A, balance. B, rhythm. C, contrast. D, proportion. E, space. 
Brazil. B, rhythm. Rhythm can be created through random repetition, alternation, progression, and undulation. B is the answer, and that is rhythm. Okay, check. One last step. Ito na, ang make or break round natin, Prof. Marla. In molecular biology, which technique is used to separate macromolecules based on their size and charge? A. Polymerase chain reaction or PCR. B. Gel electrophoresis. C. Southern blot. D. Northern blot. E. DNA microarray. Irish. Gel electrophoresis. The correct answer is B. Gel electrophoresis. K. Check. Anong pangyayari sa bansa ang nagbigay daan sa pag-aalsa na pinamunuan ng mag-asawang Diego at Gabriela Sila? Break. Basi. Yung pagtaas ng basi. Pagtaas ng presyo. Mali. Laban sa mga Espanyol noong dantaon 18 sa Ilocos. A. Pagbubukas ng bansa sa pandaibigang kalakalan. B. Paglakas ng kampanya para sa sekularisasyon. C. Pananakop ng mga preton. D. Pagsulong ng kilusang reforma. E. Pananalakay ni Lima, Lim Ahong. Pananakop ng mga Breton. Nung pumasok ang mga Breton sa bansa, sinamantala ng mag-asawang silang na ituloy ang pag-aalsa laban sa mga Espanyol. Maraming salamat. At ang huling tanong. The last question. The last question. Okay. Which art movement inspired change, reshaped cultural attitudes and transformed gender stereotypes in the arts? The hopeful gain from this art movement is bringing a positive and understanding change to the world in hope to lead to equality and liberation. A, postmodern art, B, expressionism, C, feminist art movement, D, avant-garde, E, symbolism. Rick, C, feminist art movement. The feminist art movement emerged in the early 60s during the second wave of feminism. Yes, the answer is feminist art movement, letter C, K-Check. Well, that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Versil, who ends our semifinals with a score of 235 points. He will receive a tablet courtesy of TVUP. Although, of course, we need to mention Drake, Drake, who nearly made it. Limang puntos lang po ang Cinco pinagkaiba lang. nila, Versil. Cinco, Cinco. na naman. <laughs> Alam mo naman, ayaw natin yan dito sa UP. So, Versil completes our top four and will compete in tomorrow's K-Check Grand Finals. And, of course, we'd like to thank the other contestants, Cyril, Drake, and Irish. Palakpakan natin sila. And thank you also to the members of the panel of experts, Professor Marla, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for our very, very, very grand finals here on K-Check. <laughs>